In this video, I show you how to write the perfect football CV so that you get recruited. What's going on everyone? It's Elliot from Playaway Global, where our aim is to educate, support and inspire players and coaches from across the globe. Now, like I said in the intro, today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to write your best football CV to help you get recruited. So let's get into it. So as you can see from mine, the very first thing I've got here is my personal details. So I've got my name, I've got my mobile number, and I've got my email address. Now, if you're still using an email that you set up when you were 12 years old, it's probably a good idea to scrap that. You wanna make sure you've got a professional looking email that ideally is just your name. There's plenty of free providers out there. Uh, someone like Gmail, maybe Hotmail, so go sign up for a new email, make sure it looks professional. And then you can see that I've also got a very professional looking photo. All right, now moving on down to the next section is my bio. Now this is where I've got my date of birth, I've got my height, I've got my weight, I've got my preferred position, and I've got my preferred foot. Now I'm using my date of birth rather than my age because it means I don't have to keep going back and updating this. So whenever I send it out, my age is always gonna be correct. Next, I've got my nationality, so that tells coaches where I'm from and whether I'm gonna be a visa player for them or if I'm gonna cost them some extra points if they were gonna look at recruiting me, something that's very important for coaches. And then next, I've got my height and my weight. Now, obviously, I wanna make sure I'm putting the truth here and I'm not saying that I'm six foot four if I'm really five foot 10. And I turn up for the trial and coach is expecting a tall giant and instead, he's got me. Next, I've got my preferred position. So again, it's important you're not listing 11 different positions here and instead you're picking your one or two strongest. So for me, I've got right back. Really focus on where your strengths are. All right, next I've got my player profile. Now this is where I've got a short two or three lines where I can really try and show my value to the club and try and capture a coach's interest to read further through my CV. Keep it nice and short and don't make it too long for them. All right, so the next section is the vital stats and key skills. And this is where I get a chance to show the coach what it is I can actually do. So for example, I might talk about my speed and I could give them a time that I run 20 meters in. I might demonstrate my stamina and that would be giving them maybe um, my bleep test score. Or if I have the data and maybe I wear a GPS tracker, I could say my average distance per game that I run. I could also maybe talk about my agility and give my timings for a 5-10-5 run. I could demonstrate my explosive power by giving my vertical jump score. I could demonstrate my strength. Maybe I give my one rep max for my squat or for my bench press. So fill this section with some very key information. Again, don't go over the top. Keep it to what's relevant and what you think a coach is gonna want. Speed, agility, stamina, and strength. Okay, so next up I've got my playing experience. And this is where I'm gonna detail my career, the clubs I've been at and what I've done. So first of all, I'm gonna put the year that I've played. And then next to that, I've got the club name. And next I've got the league that that club competed in. And I'm also including the tier where that league falls in that country's football structure. Keeping in mind that we might be sending this out to coaches from a different country. And to them, this league actually means nothing. It's more important that they know which tier in the footballing pyramid you're playing at. Then I'm gonna put down how many appearances I made for that team. And I've got any key stats. So I've got my goals, if I've got any, and I've got my assists, if I've made any. Then I can also put any awards that I might have won playing for this club. So for example, you might have won player's player, or maybe it's player of the year or best and fairest. So I'm gonna detail that down as well. Now, obviously coaches love to be able to see the player that they're recruiting. So what I'm gonna do in the next section is include some highlights. So I'm gonna include some links to my videos so a coach can watch me in action. Now, if you don't have a highlight reel, it's definitely something I'd advise you getting. It uh, makes it very hard for a coach to recruit you just off a piece of paper alone. They wanna be able to see that what you're putting in this CV is actually true. Now, if you are unsure on how to make a highlight video of yourself, stay tuned to the channel. We are gonna be releasing a video very soon, detailing and showing you how to do that. So it's a perfect opportunity for me to tell you to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you get notified when we release that video. And finally, I've got my references. Now, just like a normal job CV, the coach may wanna check what you're putting in your CV is accurate. So I'm gonna put my old coaches and their contact details. Now before I put them down, I'm just gonna make sure that they're okay and they're happy for me to do that so they can expect a phone call. Now we have covered a lot of information in this, but it's important to try and keep it to one page. Try and keep it nice and clean, concise, and professional looking. 
All right, we've made it to the end. So thank you very much for watching. Now as a reward down in the description below, I've left a couple of links for you to download. Number one is a checklist to make sure you don't miss anything when creating your CV. And number two, I've made a template that you can use as your CV as well. Question of the day, have you created a football CV in the past? And what success did you have when you sent it out? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear that. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video.